Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're talking about the Megadap adapter for Nikon. If you're new to the channel, I am a photographer based out of San Antonio, Texas, and I just recently picked up a Nikon ZF. I am a Sony shooter. I'm actually shooting this with a Sony a7R5, and I have a few Sony G Master lenses. And when I found out you can adapt Sony glass to Nikon, I almost couldn't believe it because with mirrorless systems, because of their flange distance and just uh, how they're designed, it's really hard to adapt modern mirrorless lenses with different brands. You can adapt older glass from all brands because the DSLRs were bigger and you can kind of adjust and make different adapters to fit old lenses. But new modern lenses usually don't, don't play very friendly with uh, different brands. But here we have a Sony 50 millimeter F1.4 G Master with my Nikon ZF. It's like voodoo. How does that, how does that work? Well, first of all, it, it only works because of Nikon's mount. So the, the Z mount is the biggest mount out of all mirrorless cameras today. It also has the shortest flange distance. And that is the key to allow adapters like this Megadap adapter to work with Nikon bodies and Sony glass. That's a lot of talking, but does this, does this adapter work? Surprisingly, yes, it does. And it almost feels native, which is wild. So before testing an adapter like this with paying customers, I never recommend to do that. You test it out on your own. And that's what I did. So I took out this adapter yesterday and I filmed some tests. And then I also use this adapter to capture my mom's birthday. After reviewing the test and making sure it worked, I didn't put her pictures at risk. So what are my thoughts? Well, I'm gonna show you some videos here of the adapter in action with the 51.4 and my 35 1.4 G Master. And to cut to the chase, I think what surprised me the most is the most it works in the best, if that makes any sense. So at first I started testing this adapter with uh, AFS or autofocus single. So that way it's not continuous autofocus. And I set my focusing points to wide. So that way I'm using all of the camera's focusing points. And surprisingly in this mode, tracking people and tracking objects worked great. It always locks onto a person's eye. It always picks up a person. It worked just fine. What's interesting though is when trying to focus to something closer or from switching from a person to an object, it struggled. It struggled a lot. So when I was doing this test and I saw that, my first impression was like, well, this sucks because if it doesn't work in autofocus single with wide area AF, it ain't gonna work with autofocus continuous. But I decided to try it anyways. Autofocus continuous with Nikon's 3D tracking was the mode where this adapter worked the best, which is weird because you think that would be the most challenging. When using autofocus continuous and 3D tracking, as I'm gonna show you right now, the autofocus just works flawlessly. It almost feels like it's a native lens. And that really impressed me because you're getting to use Nikon's 3D technology autofocus continuous and sticky AF. Once I discovered this mode and how it works, I just kept the camera in this mode. For the rest of the day, to cover my mom's birthday, I decided to just use the Sony 35 millimeter F1.4 G Master with autofocus continuous and 3D tracking and it performed flawlessly. I took over 900 photos and as I was culling the photos, there wasn't a single one that I didn't pick because it was out of focus. It nailed focus every single time. And that really impressed me because G Master lenses are significantly smaller than Nikon S lenses. This 1.4 50mm is probably half the size of Nikon's 50mm f1.2 and definitely more manageable with the ZF. So I came out very impressed. And I think for someone who's thinking about switching to Nikon that is currently invested in the Sony system, this is a great in-between as you transition your lenses. Because at the end of the day, even though this adapter's great, 
I think if you do switch the Nikon, you should definitely also switch your lenses. Here's why. I just mentioned it works great with 3D tracking and autofocus continuous, but that means you are kind of working around its limitations. That means certain modes might not work as well as if it was a native lens. Now this mode could be your do-it-all mode. I mean, I think with autofocus continuous and 3D tracking, I'm not sure what else you need from the camera, but you're still limited to just using certain modes. And when you're capturing moments like a wedding or really important moments, you wanna make sure that you're using all the camera's capabilities to do that. So this adapter, easy to recommend for fun, easy to recommend if you're transitioning. But I think long-term, you should definitely switch to Z-Glass or S-Glass, Z-Glass, Z-Mount. I'm not sure what it's called. Just to make sure you have the entire functionality of the cameras. But these adapters make things interesting. Right now, the one lens I do plan on adapting and keeping adapted is the Sigma 50mm f2 i-series lens. Because that lens, I used to use it on my a7CR and on my Leica SL3, has an aperture ring. It looks like a modern slash retro lens. It's compact, it's extremely sharp, and I have a feeling it's gonna look great with a Nikon ZF. But that's it for today's video, y'all. If you own a Nikon body, have you tried this Mega Dap adapter? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like the video, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.